Hey guys, Tim from KT Strategic here. And today, as you can see, I've got three flashlights. These are all from Coast, uh, Coast Portland. This is their G19, which is the little inspection light. It runs on a little AAA, single cell AAA. And I'll show you the kind of unique thing about this light is the beam pattern. It's just a circle which is kind of interesting. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, to be perfectly honest. I think there could be some utility for it for certain people. Uh, for my needs, I don't mind having some spill, so the straight circle doesn't really have a whole lot of utility for me. You'll note in the video, too, you can see a little bit of spill, but it's really, really subtle, and in person you won't hardly notice it, even if all the lights are off. It's really quite a well-defined beam. So if that's the sort of thing you like, and you like little AAA lights, this isn't a bad choice. It's robustly made. It's got, I think it's aluminum body. Nice clicky tail cap. You can hear it there. And uh, yeah, overall I wouldn't complain about it. Um, I think it's a nice, useful little light. I really like the size. This is similar to my Streamlight MicroStream that I have that I really like a lot. So I would recommend this light if you want to get something like this, um, the Streamlight uh, MicroStream regular, not the USB, which is the one I have and like, but the regular MicroStream would be a comparable light to this, absent the defined beam if you're looking for something without that defined circle. If you want the defined circle, this is a great choice. They're both a similar price point, so kind of the choice is kind of yours at this point, but Decent option if you're looking for lights. Uh, Coast was kind enough to send me all three of these lights and a knife that I'll get into in a different video. This one here is the TX9R and it's kind of a Streamlight Stryon ish light. Um, some of the nightstick lights have a similar form factor. So, just to give you guys a size comparison, this is the Lumen Top FW3A light. This is their uh, this is an enthusiast light, folks. This is it's an 18650 battery, and it's all that fun stuff. So that's that guy there. This is the four sevens. If you remember them, the four seven cork tactical. And here's the Streamlight Stryon LED. Yeah, this is the... Oh, it's all confused now. You can see the difference here. It's all kind of getting washed out. Bear with me one second, I'll adjust. There. So you can see the stream light is a little brighter in the center than the lumen top is. And then if we go to the coast light, and again, it's much more focused, it's brighter. When it's distribution, distributed, it's a little more comparable. And the same goes for the big guy from Coast. Much more concentrated. Not quite as concentrated. And this, for what it's worth, the lumen top is on high right now. If I turn it on to turbo, it does get a bit brighter, but it also gets really hot. So that's not something I'm going to be using that on. But again, as you saw before, the, the comparison there, the size comparison, it really gives you a nice idea what we're looking at here. iPhone SE, the original. The Coast Lights right there. And the 4.7s, for those of you who know that, and the, probably the biggest or the most common comparison is going to be that Streamlight Stryon LED. They're all about the same size. This one is aluminum. A couple of the nightstick ones are polymer, just down to what you like. Uh, the only real unique features that this light has, one, you can see it on the back here. It's marked. You actually open this and you have a micro USB charger. Now micro USB is sort of going on its way out. It's not quite there yet, but it's definitely moving that direction. So it's not USB type C, which would be nice, but Again, I'm not terribly surprised, and micro USB will be around for quite a while to come, so I wouldn't lose any sleep over that. But nice, solid, clicky, and it secures, which I like. 
good tail cap switch, which I'm a fan of. You know, this other light doesn't have one, I'll get into that in a bit. The other feature that this light has is the focusability. So if you unlock it, you can slide, watch the bezel, you can slide it up and down the body of the light, and then you lock it and it stays relatively in place. If you pull on it hard enough, you can still move it, it's just more difficult. So that gives you this focused beam or kind of a spot beam, and I've got some footage here that I'll show you of this light being used um, in the dark outside. So just to give you a rough idea what that looks like. As you can see, that tree there is about 150 feet away from where I'm shining the light. So you can kind of see how that looks at night. So just to give you a rough idea of how that works. And it works best again when it's focused in the spot. It does not work as well when it's spread out into this inspection circle. So again, usable, decent light, fairly bright, not... Uh, it's not one of those, you know, Reddit flashlight, r slash flashlight lights where you can, you know, scorch your neighbor's retinas with it, but it, it is a doable, bright, bright enough light for most people's use. Um, you can see the focal lens there, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the one, again, the big feature is that micro USB rechargeability. And the other thing I'll show you, if you actually take the light apart, it has this battery carriage, and the battery carriage itself has a micro USB charge port on it as well. So there's, it comes with two of these and an alkaline sleeve, and all three um, you can obviously swap or recharge when you're not using one of them. So you can have the light up and running and have one of these back and charging, which is a nice feature because for a lot of the 18650 cell lights that are out there, you won't be able to get your light charged without another piece of apparatus, uh, whether that's a um, you know a wall charger or one of the other chargers out there. I did a review of one I can link to below. That's a nice compact. It just plugs into a USB port for recharging 18650 cells. Again, it's kind of an apples to oranges comparison. This is not an enthusiast flashlight, and that's okay. So, the other light you see sitting here is the TX14R has the same kind of features, unscrew, pull back, you get micro USB charging, and you get these little LED lights that do light up when you're charging. There's four of them and they give you an indication of how charged the battery is. Kind of a little step up from the other, from the nine. Uh, the only, as I pointed out before, the only big downside of this light, it's got the regular switch, it does not have a tail cap switch, which I find mildly irritating. Same clicky adjustable, look, clicks to lock-ish. Again, this is locked. It's difficult, but it's not impossible to move. So if you're dependent on a light being in flood or in spot mode, I wouldn't get one of these simply because they don't reliably lock. Um, it, again, it's reliable enough for common purposes, but if I'm law enforcement or somebody who wants a bright spotlight beam immediately to hand, I may not consider purchasing this light. Again, it's up to you and how vulnerable your light is to this bezel being moved in your pocket or in your holster or wherever you keep it. Um, and then the other thing I'll note on this light here, the battery carriage is somewhat annoyingly not standardized between the two lights. It's actually a different battery carriage. It does have the micro USB, but again it's got these four ports, or excuse me, the four lights here. The neat thing about this one is it actually has a micro, or excuse me, a USB-A port on it. So you can not only use this to charge or to run your flashlight, but you can also use this to charge other devices. So if you're going to have one flashlight that you also use for other stuff and you want something to charge your personal electronics with, it's a decent option. If you're going to go on a trip somewhere and you want to pack minimally, but you want a decent sized flashlight and a decently bright flashlight that also serves as a battery bank, this might be an option. There's other more enthusiast type products out there that do the same thing, but again, it's all about options. So again, feels well, well constructed. It's aluminum, uh, nice knurling on the body. I got no complaints about this light. Again, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for more of an enthusiast light, you're going to want to get something that's geared to the enthusiast market. If you want something that's usable for the average Joe on an average day, <laughs> this is a really great light. And again, it comes with the three carriages. It has the two rechargeable carriages and then the one alkaline carriage. 
The alkaline carriages in both of these lights do diminish the light output slightly. This is with the lithium cells, not with the alkaline. If, you, if I did do this with the alkaline lights, you would notice a slight decrease in output. Uh, or the alkaline battery carriages, you would notice a slight decrease in output. But these three lights again, it's the G19, the TX9R, and the TX14R. All decent lights, uh, I got no complaints about them. Again, it's not an enthusiast light, but if that's not what you're looking for, these are a good option. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, and I'll be putting out more videos here soon. Thanks for your time, and you guys have a happy new year.